hace ruido te mato. No puede ser. Eres humana. Um, I actually got the idea on, I was on a long road trip and I was really bored driving through the middle of the desert for hours and hours. Um, and when I'm bored, I usually tell myself stories. I've done that since I was a kid. And I just sort of realized I was in the middle of the idea of two people in one body in love with the same person. And I thought, oh, that would, that would be fun to figure out. That'd be complicated. Casi todos los huesos rotos y los órganos reventados. I've always loved science fiction, so I think it was a really natural jump for me to go there pretty quickly. Um, I like alien stories. I mean, it's one of those things that you can pretty much do anything with it. You can be as fantastic as you want with the situation, but it still is technically possible. <laughs> Hay que acostumbrarse a los cuerpos humanos. No son como los otros que hemos habitado. Sus emociones son fuertes. Si su voluntad sobrevivido junto con sus recuerdos. I didn't feel like you could make it into a movie. To me, it seemed like so much of what happens is inside one person's head. It just wouldn't work. Um, and there were a lot of other people who felt that way, too. Uh, Nick Wexler, who was the producer that first came to me and said, I think we can do this, and he had some really good ideas. Me llamo Jared Howe. No hablo con otro humano desde hace dos años. Melanie, Strider. I don't want to do another teenage story, you know, Melanie's supposed to be more grown up, I want an older actress, and they said, well, have you seen Hannah? I said, no, and they said, go and see it. Um, and before I was out of the theater, I was like, get her, if she'll do it, get her, because what the most important thing was that you could make those characters both seem real, and Saoirse can do anything. So once we had that in place, everything else was really easy. Este es el principio de una historia de amor. With the host, it's about a lot more than romantic love. Um, for me, it's a much broader spectrum. And I think that uh, the characters' ages were sort of negligible. At any age, you could be thrust into that kind of a situation if the world was ending. Yeah. Um, and I liked having Melanie be young enough that I, you know, I felt so much pity for her to be taken from her parents and to have the responsibility of a younger brother that's like a son to her. Estamos en el futuro y la humanidad está casi extinguida. Nos ha invadido otra especie. I hope that it's that they are engaged with the story. Um, I do wonder if some people will go in there wanting a repeat of the feelings from Twilight. And it's very, very different. Um, but it's so beautiful. I hope that people will give it a chance kind of knowing that it's going to be different, that it's going to have a different feel. Melanie, estás ahí dentro? 